to have a chance to return, pop the wig on and the feet on, it, it kind of feels like I've stepped into a time machine. <laughs> it was a little bit like returning to summer camp. You know, so many of the people who were part of the first journey are part of this journey. Oh, the story of the Hobbit takes place 60 years before the events in The Lord of the Rings. Bilbo Baggins, I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. <laughs> One of the scary things about adapting The Hobbit is the fact there's 13 dwarves. And differentiating those characters was important. When you have 13 dwarves in scenes, if, if they all look the same, it's going to be very difficult for the watching audience. Everyone is very different in a very individual way. It's, uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to do anything. I just stick on the costume, thank God. I think it's probably a couple of thousand drawings were made. Millions of different ideas, running all over the place. That's great. This is the best part of the whole job. I'm supposed to be a light spritz. No, 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 no,